I am Mina Kamari and I'm a professor of um, biological and social epidemiology at the Institute for Social and Economic Research at the University of Essex. So today I talked about um, the survey and kind of recent developments in the survey. So we, we're a survey that run, has been running since 2009 and um, we, uh, we interview participants every year and we make data available through the UK Data Archive and we deposit our data annually. And today I just talked about new data deposits and the sort of recent developments um, in, the, in the study and the recent data deposits. Okay, so obviously the last few years have been dominated by the pandemic. Um, so today I talked about that and how we managed to keep collecting data through the pandemic and make almost real-time data sets from the participants in the sense that, you know, we interviewed people one month and we could make a data set available all six weeks after we'd collected the data and we did that all the way through the pandemic. Um, and so, so that's a sort of a real kind of highlight and something that we managed to do in the survey and given that we could make it available to the to the academic community to the policy community to people who needed to see that data as it was kind of coming through um, was a real achievement for the survey um, and then more broadly uh, our survey is um, one of the economic and social research councils key um, uh, assets in the sense that we, we get funded by them and we're an asset for the community. Uh, and so what we, the other thing I talked about today was um, what we do to help people, to help researchers use our data set. So I talked about a data set that we made for people because we noticed that some of our child data isn't used as much as other bits of our survey. And so we've sort of been thinking about, well, how do we, how do we help people use our data? So if we make something that where we've pulled everything together or about that particular um, topic, um, so that and provide guidance and all of these sorts of things. That means that people will come. Hopefully, people will come in and, um, and make use of the data. So, so hopefully, that will be an outcome from this from this presentation today. I think one of the things about understanding society is that we've got this data set where we had all of this information from before. We could watch what was happening to people during the pandemic. We, we're now following them afterwards so we can see what's happening to people, the long-term impacts of some of these things. And because we've got so many different areas in the survey, not just health, but you know all of those kind of wider social determinants of health, for example, all these other things that impact people's health, um, we could, we've got a kind of a broad whole view of the family and what's happened to, to them. Um, in terms of health, in terms of their social environment, um, I think one of the one of the um, strengths of a day like today is that you can sort of see what 's happening in social surveys, for example, the birth cohorts, understanding society, ELSA, all of these more social the, these surveys have got lots and lots of social information in them. Uh, matched with biological information and health information and really to sort of have a kind of whole view of that that kind of path um, and that's something special about the sorts of surveys that are housed the ones we've been talking about today that are housed in the archive I think it's a really important and special thing to be able to do and that the UK is really um, strong and has really the UK is um, just a strength of, uh, in terms of you know world class surveys that be able to do those kinds of research that kind of research. Yeah, I mean that's always the that's always the aim, isn't it? When you're doing this sort of work, when you're doing this sort of research, when you you're making use of all of these kind of assets that we have in the UK, is to is to make make things better, in, you know, improve society, improve um, all of these things that we're that we want to make better. I mean, it's kind of the aim of all we do. So I think it's really important that people know that these surveys are there, that they're housed in a place that you know keeps the data safe and and can can make the data useful and is you know is um, understanding kind of 
is responsive and understanding the needs of the research community. And I think that um, because it uses a sort of social science but thinking in terms of making data available, it's important to make data available. I think it's really um, something that's really valuable to the community data for the community, the research community. And having something like the archive there for a place to go to, to find all of these different types of data, to say, you know, we've got all of these social science data sets that have got all of this health content. Look at all this health content that, that's there that you might not know about. It's, it's really important to find venues, find ways of doing that. And I think that, you know, this is obviously a good, good way of doing it.